before we get into today's video, I just wanted to let you know we're having a huge sale right now, our biggest sale of the year. We never do a discount this big, 60% off every single program we've ever made, our entire website, everything's 60% off. So you can use code BF60 to get anything you've had your eye on for a while, load up for the future. You can plan your year's worth of training and know exactly what you're gonna be following in 2021. We're also launching a brand new program today called the 31 Day Challenge for Team Lovely. And so if you're lacking motivation this holiday season and you need something to light that fire again, you're gonna love this challenge new, different, dynamic, interesting, and fun workouts to keep you fit all through the holidays. For Team Live Lean members, it's already included in your account. If you're not a member, you can buy it separately and that would be included in the 60% off discount as well. So remember, this discount ends at midnight. So don't hesitate. If there's something you've been wanting, get it now. We always offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all programs and nutrition courses. So I'll leave the link in the description box below for you to shop as well as the coupon code BF60 to remove 60% from anything you want. So let's get started with today's video. Hi, welcome back to Live Lean TV. Today I'm going to teach you some alternative moves to replace the adductor inner thigh and abductor outer thigh machines so that you don't need to go to the gym. These moves can completely replace the need for those machines and I can show you how you can replace them using nothing, just what you have at home, which is your body and the floor and that's it. So I figured instead of just demoing all the exercises for you, I would actually guide you through them as a follow along workout. We can do all six of the alternative exercises all together and get a really amazing inner outer thigh burn from this. So get ready. You don't need anything, just some space around you. And we'll get started with the first exercise being a squat. And then we're gonna go side to side stepping like this to work our glutes and outer thighs. So on your mark, get in your squat stance and let's go. So you're gonna step out to the side, step together, step out to the other side and step together. Now this works the same muscles that the abductor, abductor machine works, which is the outer thighs and the upper glutes. Stay low and keep working it. Keep going, the clock is set for 20 second intervals. So on moves that alternate sides, we're just gonna do two of those in a row. Make 40 seconds, keep going. Now don't rush it, focus on muscle contractions doing the best quality reps you can. Okay, 20 seconds of resting. We're gonna get down into a clamshell position. You know what the clamshell is? It's when you just open your thighs like this. We're gonna do it a little bit differently. I want you to make sure that your plank is straight, and then we're gonna open as you're lifting that hip off the floor too. So don't leave your hips down. We're gonna lift and open at the same time. Go. 20 seconds per side. Really push into the ground at the same time as really opening and push your hips forward. Think of it as sort of a hip thrust so you really get the glutes involved and get those same benefits that that machine would give you. Okay, flip around and switch right away to the other side and do 20 seconds on the other side. Keep going. Work the outer thighs and the glutes. Okay, 20 seconds off, and then we're gonna go into the fire hydrant and donkey, donkey kick move. So again, working the outer thighs and glutes. Get into an all fours position. We're gonna be doing a fire hydrant, which is lift to the side, and then right into donkey kick. And we'll do 20 seconds on each side, just one side at a time. So here we go. Fire hydrant, kick it up. Put it back down. Fire hydrant, and kick. Really lift as high as you can to work those outer thighs and then go up to get the glutes. Keep your core muscles tight as you do this. So really minimize the bend of your spine. Other side, up. Lift and kick. Okay, 20 seconds off, and now we're gonna switch right into the inner thigh move. So we'll start with plie squat with a side to side shift. So a plie squat is like this position with the toes turned out, you get nice and low. 
We're gonna be shifting side to side like this for 40 seconds straight, alternating sides, okay? Get nice and low in that plie. Make sure that your knees are as open as they can be. And toes are pointing out. So just shift and straighten that leg. Really try to push that knee all the way straight. And stay low and keep your torso upright. No leaning forward. Try and lift up. Imagine you have a glass of water on your head. Stay up. Keep going, another 20 seconds. Try to really stretch that inner thigh with each side shift and stay really low to keep the tension building. All right, 20 seconds off, but we're gonna work our way down to the ground. We're gonna be doing side scissor kicks. So think of like the way scissors close and open. We're gonna be doing a close, open, close, open like that. And I really want you to make an effort to tap your top leg to the ground and then switch. So tap the ground each time. Okay, ready, lift and go tap and lift, tap and lift. Try to get that, that bottom leg to go as high as it can and the top leg to go as low as it can to the floor. Switch and keep going to get 20 seconds on the other side. Keep it up. Keep your legs as straight as you can. Okay, 20 seconds off and then we have one more inner thigh exercise before we go to the top of the list. So side drop lunge with a crossover. Once you to start standing, you're gonna side drop and then this knee is gonna cross over the midline when you come back, okay? So 20 seconds only on one side and then we'll switch sides. Side drop, get that low lunge and then cross over. Other direction, step over here and go. Make sure this does come across to your belly button line. Go as low as you can before you come up. Okay, rest period, and then we're gonna start back at the top and make it a little bit more advanced. I'm gonna be adding some dumbbells. I have 10 pound dumbbells here. And we're gonna go back to the first outer thigh exercise. We're just gonna hold the dumbbells right at our shoulders. If you don't have dumbbells, just do the way we did it in the first round. Um, this is totally optional only if you want to, but it is a good way to take it to the next level. Again, open as much as you can. I really emphasize the outer thighs and the glutes. Turn those toes outward. Keep going, that's just the halfway point. Okay, rest. Okay, next exercise is the slide clamshells. We're just gonna use one of the 10 pound dumbbells and hold it on the hip. So again, in this side, half side plank position, we're gonna go up and open. If you did wanna make this more advanced without the weight, another way of doing it would be straight legs like this. But I really like this version with the weight on the hips right here and still doing it with bent knees. Those are just some alternative options for you. Switch right away, go on the other side for 20 seconds. Okay, drop that weight, take a 20 second break. We're gonna do the fire hydrant donkey kicks again and no weight added to this. If you had ankle weights, you could strap them around your ankles for this move to advance it, but I wouldn't recommend adding dumbbells to this. Just 
really try to focus on your glute contractions. This time be very mindful of the core, keeping that super steady as you're working. Try to minimize the spine movement and maximize the glute movement. As high as you can and then kick it and flex. Other side. Okay, on to our inner thighs now. Just three more moves to go with the advancements. We're gonna do grab the weights again for the plie squats with the side to side shift. So you can hold them down here, or if it feels more comfortable, do up at your shoulders again. I'm gonna do holding the weights down this time. Just make sure the shoulders are rolled back and you're not crunched up in your neck. And we're just gonna shift side to side. Straighten that inner thigh, really drop it low to feel that stretch. Again, the weights are optional. You can totally do this without weights. Keep going, that's just a halfway point. And you'll still get great benefit, especially if this is new to you. I would recommend doing it without the weights, at least on your first time through this workout. Okay, rest period. We're gonna do those side scissor kicks and again, no weights added for this one, unless you had ankle weights to strap on. Okay, get on your side. Make sure that you're tilted, your hips are tilted back for this because if you're too far on your side, it's gonna be very awkward. So tilt back so your hips are facing up and go scissor kick it. Remember all the way down with the top leg, all the way up with the bottom leg. Switch right away, go to the other side. One more exercise, the side drop lunge with the crossover. I'm gonna hold the dumbbells for this one and I will be holding them up at the shoulder so that they're out of the way of the knee moving. So again, you're gonna side drop and then cross your body over like this. So just kind of rest the weights on your shoulder caps and then you're gonna go side drop over, cross. Other direction, go. And push yourself to get low and cross over. All right, so that wraps it up for this workout. That is just two rounds through it, but of course, if you wanted to get more out of this, you could turn it into three or even four rounds. If you're very advanced, you can use heavier dumbbells, even more than 10, maybe up to 20, just depending on how strong and experienced you are. And of course, I do want to remind you that this is still effective just done with body weight only, so don't feel like you have to add weights or you have to have equipment in order to get good results. You can still just focus on your contractions and your form and still get a really good burn and really effective workout out of it. Whether you're training from home or you're out traveling and you just have access to zero workout equipment, I don't want that to stop you. Don't let that discourage you because going through this body weight only can still be amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this and you learned some different unique exercises that can replace or maybe just temporarily substitute your favorite machines at the gym. It's not that those machines are not good, it's just that there are other ways to achieve the same goal and I just wanna give you all the options 
so you never feel limited or blocked from achieving the results you want, no matter what situation you come across. I use a lot of these type of moves in my follow along build a butt two program, which really focuses on glutes and toning your thighs. So if you want more workouts like this and training with me in your home, you're going to love bab two. That's an excellent follow along program to teach you these kinds of moves and make sure you have substitutes for any machine gym stuff that you would want to do. All the workouts in my BAB2 program are follow along full length rep by rep with me. So I'm really guiding you and teaching you proper form and glute activation, all that stuff. So you can get the best results, not just for your glutes, but also for your inner and outer thighs. It targets all of that. And don't worry, the name build a butt doesn't mean build the size of your butt. It just means build the tone and the shape of your butt. So rest assured, it is not going to make your butt bigger, but just the same size butt you have, but just tighter, rounder, firmer, and more lifted. So you can grab that program with the link down below and start following the nine week schedule with me right by your side and look forward to perkier glutes in the new year. Thanks for working out with me today and I'll see you at the next one. In the meantime, keep living lean.